When we make progress and get better at something, it is inherently motivating. In order for people to make progress, they have to get feedback and information on how they're doing. Control leads to compliance. Autonomy leads to engagement. The three things that motivate creative people, autonomy, mastery, purpose, Asking why can lead to understanding. Asking why not can lead to breakthroughs. The future belongs to a very different kind of person with a very different kind of mind. Creators and empathizers, pattern recognizers and meaning makers. Human beings have an innate inner drive to be autonomous, self-determined, and connected to one another. And when that drive is liberated, people achieve more and live richer lives. When the reward is the activity itself, deepening learning, delighting customers doing one's best, there are no shortcuts. All of us want to be part of something bigger than ourselves, something that matters. We're born to be players, not pawns. Too much negative emotion, of course, is debilitating, but too little is also destructive. In many professions, what used to matter most were abilities associated with the left side of the brain. Linear, sequential, spreadsheet kind of faculties. Those still matter, but they're not enough. The lesson of closed doors is to do better next time. The lesson of open doors is to do something now. For many of us, the opposite of talking isn't listening, it's waiting. When others speak, we typically divide our attention between what they're saying now and what we're going to say next, and end up doing a mediocre job at both. We often understand something better when we see it in comparison with something else than when we see it in isolation. Empathy is about standing in someone else's shoes, feeling with his or her heart, seeing with his or her eyes. Not only is empathy hard to outsource and automate, but it makes the world a better place. Design, story, symphony, empathy, play, meaning. These six senses increasingly will guide our lives and shape our world. Leadership is about empathy. It is about having the ability to relate and to connect with people for the purpose of inspiring and empowering their lives. Intrinsic motivation is conducive to creativity. Controlling extrinsic motivation is detrimental to creativity. Money can extinguish intrinsic motivation, diminish performance, crush creativity, encourage unethical behavior, foster short-term thinking, and become addictive. Typically, if you reward something, you get more of it. You punish something, you get less of it. And our businesses have been built for the last 150 years very much on that kind of motivational scheme. To sell well, 
is to convince someone else to part with resources. Not to deprive that person, but to lead him better off in the end. Anytime you're tempted to upsell someone else, stop what you're doing and observe instead. Management isn't about walking around and seeing if people are in their offices. It's about creating conditions for people to do their best work. What entrepreneurs and artists have in common is that they give the world something it didn't know it was missing. This is what it means to serve, improving another's life, and in turn, improving the world. Goals that people set for themselves and that are devoted to attaining mastery are usually healthy. But goals imposed by others, sales targets, quarterly returns, standardized test scores, and so on, can sometimes have dangerous side effects Greatness and nearsightedness are incompatible. Meaningful achievement depends on lifting one's sights and pushing toward the horizon. Why reach for something you can never fully attain? But it's also a source of allure. Why not reach for it? The joy is in the pursuit more than the realization. In the end, mastery attracts precisely because mastery eludes. Once we realize that the boundaries between work and play are artificial, we can take matters in hand and begin the difficult task of making life more livable. Being a professional is doing the things you love to do on the days you don't feel like doing them. People use rewards expecting to gain the benefit of increasing another person's motivation and behavior, but in so doing, they often incur the unintentional and hidden cost of undermining that person's intrinsic motivation toward the activity. Rewards do not undermine people's intrinsic motivation for dull tasks, because there is little or no intrinsic motivation to be undermined. Find what drives us.